Hello everyone. Now before you actually leave this video, and in fact, please don't leave this video, please stay tuned, because on my YouTube stats I've been seeing that a lot of my videos, in the average, the person, people have only been watching 8% of that video, so please, I want you to um, stay tuned, hit that like bu button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, well... Today, we will be talking about how does global warming make weather more insane, okay? So, first of all, you might, if you don't know what I mean, you might want to watch my What is Global Warming video for, if you don't know what global warming is, I hope you do, um, and also, you know, what causes global warming, and all that kind of stuff. So, let's just get to the point now. If you have watched a video, just please do it. Well, anyway, um, so to start off with, I mean, global warming. Everyone knows, literally, just by context clues, we got global, we got warming. Okay, well, global, you know, global around the earth, warming. Well, that makes things hotter. So. I think we all got that down that it makes things hotter. But not only does it make things hotter, okay, yes, it does make things hotter, but not only does it do that, it makes extremes, okay. And not always because it's hotter. Let me get out a paper. Okay, we got one. Day. I saw a couple down here, but I can't say I heard them. Okay, well, that's a problem. Um, in that case, just uh, forget about it. So, look, this is what I want to say. Global warming, you know, yes, just like I said, makes things more insane, but not because it's hotter always. Now, yes, it will make big old hurricanes and right there because of category fries all the time if it keeps going on long enough. And that's because it's warmer. But now we're talking like. I don't know. Big tornadoes. That pen does not work. Okay, well, the point is, big tornadoes maybe. Okay. You may have big tornadoes and all. Like this big one right here. Okay. Now, that is slightly caused by one. Okay. And then once we get into, like, floods, okay, now that one is actually not cut by warming, caused by other factors of global warming, okay, and I'll, global warming just makes one more, so let me show you this, so you see, that's the flooding, that's the tornado, now, it makes, you know, more insane weather, like I just said, like, five times, <laughs> So, we might have more insane weather, and that is not good. Okay, start off with, I'm just going to say, not good. Not at all. Okay. Now, if it gets that, why does it rain more? Because global warming, it actually makes things drier. Why would it rain more? Well, you see, because it dry, it's really dry now, like all over the earth now, it's also really dry, right? Well, when it does rain, which it still will, not a lot, but when it does rain, that will cause massive floods. You see, in the desert, like, not too long ago, maybe like, what, two months ago, um, we, in, like, 
Yeah, about a couple years. And let's just say in Arizona, in Arizona, there was two feet of rain. Now that's a lot. But there couldn't have been two feet of rain if that was all green forest. There might have only been like four inches, three inches, which still is not something that you always see <laughs> all around here. But still, it's not as much as two feet. You see what I'm saying? Like the, it's because nothing soaks in. When it's dry, the water won't soak in. So when it does rain, it's called massive floods. Massive floods. When there are forests and all this green, the mud just soaks it all in. See what I'm saying? Okay, well, I mean, that's like a big factor of it, dryness. Now, the heat, yes, the heat is part of it. But did you know that global warming also makes it cold? Okay, now, not that it always happens, but like I said, it just makes it a lot more insane. And not that we're always going to snow anymore. Well, I'm just going to say that if it ever does want to get cold, it's going to get real cold. Okay, like, last, like, this morning and last night, snow in Oklahoma, I mean, that's not normal at all, right? That's not normal at all for in October, <laughs> middle of October, so, that's what I'm saying. Well, to summarize it, the warning makes water more insane. I hope we can stop it. If you haven't, please watch my global warming video, like how we can stop. Well, goodbye everyone. I'll see you for another day of Row the Rainbow Girl.